COVID-19 has made voting a public health issue in the 2020 election. And so now not only are there barriers to getting to the polls that we normally fight, then there's the actual barriers of going out could actually cost you your life. How do you, as a provider, as a healthcare provider, enter that space of civic engagement? We prescribe pills, we prescribe physical therapy and surgery, but we don't prescribe civic engagement. Physicians or health professionals often see the link between, you know, the patient in front of them and their blood pressure, but they don't see the link between voting and the blood pressure. The same law that gave um, departments of motor vehicles the opportunity to register voters, we have that opportunity as hospitals. Registering people to vote is fundamental to the functioning of our democracy. And with not a lot of time, not a lot of resources, it's very hard to sort of figure that out on your own. And so I think Vote ER's tools have been super useful to sort of give people the education and show them the link between their involvement and having a healthy and successful community. As physicians, it is a huge part of our job to help give voice to people who don't necessarily have voice. And so if we are going to have a better healthcare system, we need to vote.